arrests, ban on gatherings, Thailand hardens its tone against the pro-democracy movement. Bangkok, arrests of protest leaders, ban on gatherings of five or more people, ban on online messages, the Thai government toughened its tone on Thursday in the face of the protest movement that has been marching for several months to demand more democracy. Authorities have issued an emergency decree that bans gatherings of five or more people as well as online messages that could harm national security, said Sunsern Kogum Nerd, one of the government spokespersons. Thai. On Wednesday, a new demonstration to demand the dismissal of Prime Minister Prachan O Cha brought together several thousand people in front of the government house in Bangkok. Shortly after the emergency decree took effect, Thursday at 4 a.m. 9 p.m. GMT, Red Police evacuated protesters who were still camping at the site. Arrests, ban on gatherings, Thailand toughens its tone against the pro-democracy movement. Most of the protesters had already left the scene, but around 20 people have been arrested. Deputy Police Spokesman Colonel Kisana Faithanakaran told AFP. Arrests, ban on gatherings, Thailand toughens its tone against the pro-democracy movement. Among them Parrot Shiverik known as Penguin and Anand Numpia, two of the leaders of the movement, specified a government source. Other headliners of the protest, including Panusaya Sithajarawadanakul known as Rung, have been arrested, according to images posted online by activists. Call for a new demonstration. The emergency decree aims to hamper the democratic movement and allow the leaders to retain power, lamented Rung on his Facebook page shortly before his arrest. Braving the ban on gatherings, the 21-year-old student called for another protest Thursday at 4 p.m., 9 o'clock GMT in central Bangkok. The pro-democracy movement is calling for the departure of Prime Minister General Prachan Cha, in power since a coup in 2014 and legitimized by controversial elections last year. Arrests, ban on gatherings, Thailand toughens its tone against the pro-democracy movement. He also calls for a modification of the constitution, put in place in 2017 under the junta and very favorable to the army. Some activists go further, demanding an in-depth reform of royalty, a taboo subject until recently in the kingdom. They are calling for the monarch's non-interference in political affairs, the repeal of the draconian Lee's Majesty Law and the return of crown property to the bosom of the state, demands deemed unacceptable by the government. On Wednesday, the har with Queen Sathita on board, who could not avoid the route of the demonstration, was stopped for a few moments and dozens of pro-democracy protesters raised three fingers in front of her vehicle. The day before, other activists had given King Ma of Herlongkorn the same salute, inspired by the movie Hunger Games, unprecedented gestures of defiance to royal authority. The government justified the promulgation of the emergency decree by citing demonstrations contrary to the constitution and by denouncing the obstruction of the royal procession on Wednesday. Yesterday, more than 10,000 pro-democracy protesters marched towards Government House to mark the 47th anniversary of the 1973 student uprising. Several hundred pro-royalist supporters who had come to greet the royal procession had gathered along the route, reviving fears of unrest in a country accustomed to political violence and which has seen 19 coups d'état or attempts since the establishment of the constitutional monarchy in 1932. Despite brief scuffles, however, the two camps kept their distance in this first face-to-face since the start of the protest movement, which flourished this summer among part of the Thai youth.